nostalgia, fond memories that stick with us for the rest of our life. It has the power to change the way we think and act. It can give us strong desires to relive our best moments. Nostalgia is a very powerful thing, but let's get more specific. Video games being a great example provide endless opportunity for the creation of moments that we will hold close to us forever. And I'm sure everyone listening right now has had their fair share of gaming nostalgia. I myself have been blessed with so many magical moments from games that I've lost count of how many I've had a long time ago, and I'm only 22 years old. But I always look back on those memories, and I think, why do I cherish those moments so much? How did it even happen, and what can I do to recreate another scenario like that again? Well, memorable moments usually occur when we least expect it, without even noticing. So, going in search of new memories will often result in failure, as you are aware of what you are doing, therefore distracted and criticizing the situation you're currently in to measure if it's worthy of your memory bank. Remember, approach new scenarios with an adventurous, curious mind. It unlocks the potential for new ideas. It is common for an unforgettable moment to occur when we experience something new that we've never seen before. This is why games that have a repetitive nature to them, entering the same match, map or lobby, and doing roughly the same thing as you did the previous time, generally doesn't create these moments, but rather instantly satisfies the player then and there. In no way does that make the game bad, but it may not provide as many opportunities for memorable events to occur. I find playing a game that has some type of adventure, that offers challenging tasks, other games I personally find that creates those moments I hold close to myself, sentimentally as I feel I'm surrounded in a new world, full of mystery and exploration, unaware of how to achieve my goal and outside of my comfort zone. But when I finally achieve what I've set out to achieve, it's moments like those that I'm proud of and make for a great story to tell my friends. Which leads me to my next point, playing games with friends is one of the best ways to experience golden moments. The ability to share a memory with someone else is truly something great. People around my age and older often attach themselves to moments they had long ago, but not really bother to thoroughly enjoy any new experiences they approach. That is completely normal, and I myself am a victim of that, because over time, as we leave our adolescence behind, we leave behind our curious little minds with it, and develop a more wise and critique one that instead of accepting the environment we're in, we look for the parts of the game that are lacking, so much like me. So if I were to stand in front of my 12 year old self and offer any advice for games, I'd say don't ever forget to continue to cherish the little moments in games. Don't look for the faults, but look for the things that make you happy and explore it. Oh, and don't skip homework and play games till 4 a.m. Yeah. Anyway, walking away from my lessons learned of a long time of playing video games, I wouldn't recommend going and searching for scenarios to try and force yourself to enjoy. Wield a curious mind and find a place where you can explore but challenge yourself. And if you're able to recruit a helping hand to overcome the challenge with, I'm sure you'll be rewarded with something far more valuable than what's been given to you in game. A moment in time you will remember forever and a wonderful story to tell. Everyone walks different paths in their gaming career and play different games with different people in different ways. And I'm very keen to know what games gave you fond memories that you still cherish today. I'd absolutely love to hear them. If you're able to relate to this video and found it enjoyable, I'd appreciate any type of support as I really do enjoy taking a step back from playing sometimes and just have a talk with you guys about what's on my mind and hearing what you have to say. So thank you so much for listening and I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye!